What is up, YouTube? This is Chris, a.k.a. Barn on 11970 and I thank you guys for watching my video. Alright, guys, this one is going to be one some people may agree with, some people may not agree with. I can't help, or nor do I want to help those who are one-sided and don't want to listen and automatically dismiss things. So let's just get that out of the way. This is for the people who are free thinkers, who like to think outside the box and try and find every kind of alternative to figure out where their path is headed. And the one thing I'm going to talk about is fear. We all have it. It's a natural instinct. This is something that you can ultimately control. It's not always easy. But let me tell you something. The more I researched in this lifetime, especially in the past two years, the more I've come to the realization is that you, you can manifest what you fear, what you really deep down inside feel. You ever wonder how you say things like, oh, you know, my luck is crappy or, you know, everything always bad happens and that's exactly what happens? It's because you actually can manifest what you feel. And the powers that be, the elites and the, and, uh, the Illuminati people, whatever you want to call them, they know this. And that is exactly why you see nothing but bad news and tragedies and terrorism and all these things bombarding you on a daily basis all over the media. And they found out um, when 9-11 happened, and you could research this. I don't know what school was actually testing um, the effects of people's emotions on physical events. But they found that there were three different places that registered the planet's energy levels and at the time 9-11 happened there was this massive spike that they couldn't understand in the electrical field of the earth and they found out that people's emotions can control the physical world whether you want to believe in that or not I'm not here to try and tell people there is actually research done on this from universities so look it up before you just say, oh, Chris is being an idiot and he doesn't know what he's talking about and he's crazy conspiracy theorist, blah, blah, blah. I can't help those people, nor do I really care to. So you have to understand, the more you are programmed into believing something bad is going to happen, and the more people that share that feeling, the more likely that event will be created in some way. may not be exact. But like I said, there is a method to their madness. There, it's not a coincidence that every time you turn on the TV, there's famine and wars and rapes and murders and possible terrorist attacks and possible hurricanes, possible wars, possible famines, all these things that get you to lose your hope. And that's why like, I get a little disappointed in some people when they say things like, I, I promote fear and stuff. When you talk about something... That could be, like, for example, bad news or a tragedy to help somebody. It doesn't make you negative. I'll give you a prime example. Let's say you're a doctor. And one particular day, every single one of your patients, no matter what you did, died. And you had to tell each family member that was there waiting to find out the results of whatever operation it was what happened. And you all day have had to tell family after family, I'm sorry, but the person died from complications or from whatever. Does that make that doctor negative because all he's talking about is negative things? No, he's just reporting. So I don't believe in fear mongering. Those who watch my channel know that I don't promote that stuff. I can talk about it. But like, for example, how many of you saw one video of me talking about December 21st, 2012? As we're all going to die, everybody just, you know, party because it'll be the last day on earth. I don't talk that way. How many of you see when I even talked about this potential event on the 28th that was some moron that put a Facebook page trying to scare the living hell out of people? How many people can show me anywhere in my video where I said, you know, we're all going to die? I don't think that way. I'm not one of those doom and gloomer kind of people, but I can report what's going on. And if what's going on is negative, well, unfortunately, that's sometimes you just got to do that. But you can't look at it from the perspective of 
Well, because it's said, that guarantees it's going to happen. You have more control over your life than you will ever believe. And I'll give you a prime example. Whether people think it's a coincidence, whether people think I'm pulling rabbits out of my butt or whatever, I don't care. But the last two hurricanes, I said to my wife, because she was really scared about both of them. Her family was very scared for us, because I'll tell you something. I live in a mandatory evacuation flood zone. So it's not like I'm in some mountainous area protected by things. I'm about three, four miles away from the ocean in a very flood kind of area. And I said on both occasions, nothing will happen to this house. And you know what? That is exactly what happened. Nothing. Is it a coincidence? It sure could be. But I truly believe in my heart you have more control over your destiny and your surroundings than even you are led to believe. And that's why you are bombarded with negativity and evil and corruption and horror and tragedy and no escape because they want you to be docile. They want you to be in fear all the time so you don't realize the potential gift you have inside yourself and that your body is electrical and it has electrical and magnetic purposes and abilities. And that's why you tend to attract what you give. And I know some people are going to automatically dismiss it. I know some people are going to, you know, say this is crazy. To be honest, those people I don't really care about. I wish them nothing but good things. But I'm not here to convince somebody that sits there with la, 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 blind ears and, you know, deaf ears and blind eyes. I can't help those people. But people, you have to understand. Think of life like a movie. And you're the director of that movie. You decide what goes in that movie. So why would you let some other person dictate where your movie goes or who plays in it, who dies, who lives happily ever after? You're in control of your movie. And when you finally believe it in your heart and know that to be true, you will never have a problem the way they want you to have it. Now, that doesn't may mean that bad things cannot happen. Because sometimes in life, a bad situation that may seem like bad, a bad thing at the time could actually be something steering you in a better direction so where you have to learn something. So let's just keep this in perspective. Not all of a sudden now you're just going to walk around and everything's just handed to you and life is wonderful. Challenges are there for the smart people who pay attention to find something good out of it and learn and grow. That's how you become a better person. But make no mistake, you're in charge of your movie. You direct it. So do you want massive earthquakes and death and nuclear explosions in your movie? Because I sure don't, and it's not going to happen. And I'll tell you this much. I hear so many people talking about, you know, all oh, these tsunamis coming and possible earthquakes where flood areas can be happening. Well, I'll tell you this much. It ain't happening here. And it's not going to affect me, not in the way everybody might be afraid to think about. And I will make a guarantee that it will not happen, not in my movie. So I can talk about situations, but I talk about them like I'm talking about a story. I don't have that emotion involved in it. I don't live in fear. I don't worry about what's happening tomorrow. Because nothing in life is guaranteed. I'll give you a prime example. See this pen? If you go by the future, supposedly is guaranteed, I'm going to drop this pen. It's going to hit the floor. Ready? Look what happened. I stopped it. I changed the destiny of it. If I wouldn't have done anything, it drops to the floor. That's what they want. They want you to not do anything, to think you don't have the power, to think you're a weak person who's just this ordinary human with no light ability in your heart and soul and no magnetic ability in your, in your essence to do anything. There's a reason why those people are called illuminated. You can believe whatever you want, including 
thinking this is crazy and dismissing it. That is your choice. But remember, guys, like I've said so many times in videos, you are ultimately responsible for what you do and don't do. And that affects every aspect of your life. I don't care if every single person who watches this thinks this is crazy. It works for me. It will continue to work for me. And it can work for you, but you have to put your heart and soul into it. You can't just snap your finger and just say, oh, yes, you know, grace guys are going to clear up. Don't work that way. And that's one of the reasons why I stopped making those videos about the, um, the scratch-off tickets, which so many people made fun of, because they didn't, didn't understand the whole concept behind it. Maybe I didn't say it right, and I'm perfectly fine with that, but it's all about not just saying, oh, yeah, I, I feel confident. There's a difference between telling somebody you feel confident and knowing you are. And that's the same thing in life. You can't bullshit yourself. You can bullshit every person in the world. I've seen so many tough people out there that when the crap hits the fan, they're the scaredest people and the most unreliable people you'll ever meet in your life. How many people will go on my videos and say nasty things when things are going in their way, and as soon as it changes, they're gone? That's not integrity. That's why I don't really worry about these things. And you shouldn't worry about them. Don't live your life worrying about what's going to happen tomorrow. Because I don't care if it's happened, if something has happened six million times before. There is no guarantee it will happen again. And that's how I've always lived my life. If somebody says to me, for example, Chris, that can't be done because it hasn't been done. My attitude was always, well, you know what? If I'm passionate enough about it and I believe in it with all my heart, my response is, well, guess what? I'll be the first to make it happen. So if you want to believe there's going to be all this death and destruction and murder and give up and we can't win and we should just join the elite and just, you know, bow down, then that's exactly what you're going to manifest. I don't choose to live that way. This is my movie. I control my life. I don't control anybody else's. And that's what some people may never understand. And that's absolutely fine. But remember, guys. If you live in fear, your body is filled with electricity and magnetism. It will give off and radiate. You will get that back. If that's what you want, live in fear. If you realize to this moment that you are a being of light, you are a creation here with a purpose, then you will change in an instant and know that you have more abilities than you will ever be told. And that's why they spent since our childhood until now, hammering us with doubt and fear and anger and separation and hate because they don't want you to know that you are a light being and you control more than you could ever imagine. And I hope today may be on the beginning of the path for you to see that. Seek it out and you shall find it. And that's why they say, I was once was blind, but now I see. Take this video any way you want. Thanks for watching, and good luck. I'll see you guys on the 29th. Peace.